Today I'll be showing you how to install Marlin firmware on your Inet 8, 8 using the Marlin configurator. And there are a few programs you're going to need to install to get started. So the first one is Git. And I put all these links in the video description. So we'll just download Git and install that. We install Git like any other program. Next, 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 next. Install. Once Git is installed, the next program we want is Python 2.7. So we will go ahead and download that. So now we will go ahead and install Python. I've already installed it before, so I wouldn't just reinstalling it. And one thing you want to make sure while installing Python is you want to change this to will be installed on local hard drive. So just change add Python exe path to will be installed on local hard drive. Okay. Once Python is finished installing, we need to run the platform IO script. So when we do this, you want to make sure that you right click the link and choose save link as. If you just open it, uh, you're just going to get a bunch of text. So we will right click, save link as, anywhere you want, and then just open it to automatically run it in Python. Okay, now that that's done, we need to go ahead and get the Marlin configurator from GitHub. Search for Marlin config, and it will be the first one. Scroll down past snippets to latest release, and then we'll download the EXE for Windows. Download that. Now before we install the Marlin configurator, you want to create a new folder. So I'm going to create it on the desktop, and you can call it whatever you want, but I will call it Marlin just to make this easy. Okay, now go ahead and install the Marlin configurator. Once it is done, it is going to ask you for, um, it's going to pop up and you are going to select the blank folder that we just created. And then that is going to automatically download all of the files for Marlin. And it takes a minute, but once it's done, it will automatically open the Marlin configurator. Now, once it's open, we will navigate back to that folder we created and we will go into Marlin, Marlin again, example configurations, and we'll find ANET, and then ANET A8, and we'll take both of these files, the configuration and configuration advanced, and drag them over to Marlin configurator. And once they're in there, we're pretty much done. Um, the only thing you may need to change is if you've upgraded your board, you may need to change it to the one that you're using. I was just using stock, so I will keep it on uh, the ANET 10. And then you will go ahead and compile the files. And you want to make sure you choose the board to match up with the one you're using here as well. ANET 10 and compile. And this will take another minute. Once it's done and we got the green success light, we're ready to go. If there was some sort of error, um, it would be there would be a red warning and it would point to it and let you know what's wrong. But if you've got the green success, you are ready to go ahead and flash it to your printer. So you would just plug in your printer to your USB port, choose the, it, I don't have it plugged in right now, so nothing shows up, but if you had it plugged in, right in between here there would be a spot to choose the, your communications port and then you click flash it'll take another minute and then you are good to go uh, one thing to keep in mind once you've got this installed on your a net the uh, center button on the display is now the enter button the uh, it used to be the button on the right and that will now return you to the home screen that's it I hope this video has been helpful thank you for watching